All right, a 9-11 call reveals the great lengths Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin's team went to to conceal his health emergency. Can I ask, like, can the ambulance not show up with lights and sirens? Um, we're trying to mm -hmm. remain a, a little subtle. Really? Whose voice is that? Here to react is Iraq War veteran, Florida Congressman Corey Mills. Congressman, so when he had this health emergency, we're all up, nobody's happy about that. He wanted to go to Walter Reed, and he asked the ambulance, his staff or asked the ambulance to keep the sirens off. Number one, that shows somebody else outside his family knew about uh, his health condition, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what it is. And it wasn't about subtlety. It was about secrecy. And that's why he refused to actually contact uh, Deputy Secretary Hicks, who was on vacation in Puerto Rico, to let her know that she had assumed his duties based on his medical conditions. And look, I wish Secretary Lloyd well in his health. But this also reinforces why in August of last year, I had filed my impeachment articles and it was for dereliction of duty. Fast forward to now, not just the failure to get a status of forces agreement, but not just the failures in Afghanistan with the botched withdrawal of 2021 or the recruitment deficit of 33,000 that indicates a failure in him doing his job. But now he has actually violated the you know federal law of 3349 that would have said, hey, look, I have to announce my vacancy. This is the same thing the president has to do if they go in for a colonoscopy. And now you're looking at where we have an increase in the amount of attacks that are occurring in Iraq and Syria on U.S. forces. You're seeing the impacts and disruption of commerce by the Houthi rebels uh, who are actually impacting over 12 percent of global trade and now in a direct back and forth with U.S. Navy for direct kinetic actions. This is where we need someone at the helm. We cannot have a vacant presidency at 1600 and at the Pentagon. Corey, think about this with Afghanistan. I know you have. They decide, the president decides we're pulling out. His military people evidently told him, you know, it's going to be de detrimental if we pull out right now. Well, hell could break loose, but they do it anyway. So the president does it. It's the biggest disaster in American history. The president said no one ever recommended or ever told him that something like this could happen. And the military officers from Millie on down uh, uh, and McKenzie say, no, no, we did tell him. And sitting right there, the secretary of defense said we did warn him. This is the same miscommunication, lack of coordination that we witnessed two years ago playing out before our eyes with his health. Do you see a connection? I see an absolute connection. And again, we've seen where I truly believe that the House Republicans need to take up my articles of impeachment. This is something that is a bipartisan. We know that we're not going to get bipartisan support out of Mayorkas, even though we know the trouble's down there, or even for Biden himself. But when it comes to Austin, we've recognized that he has failed in his duties. And if it's health related or it's just an outright inability to follow the rules, he has failed to communicate what is going on. And that puts us at a real national security breach. Congressman, how often um, how often do you think that a secretary of defense should be speaking to the president, and especially with the Middle East in turmoil, Taiwan constantly in peril and all the other challenges? Were you shocked to find out yeah. there was no communication at all? I was absolutely shocked. I mean, the Secretary of Defense, Secretary of State, your DNI, your head of agencies, your NSC, all of them should be talking to the president every single day about what our foreign adversaries are doing, about where we're at with an economic strategy, what's going on with decoupling away from China, an adversarial nation. How are we eliminating double right. taxation on Taiwan to stop the single point of failure on 92 percent of the global populace's uh, semiconductor manufacturing? These are all things that you would Crazy. think the president is talking about every day. But but instead, he's talking about vanilla and chocolate ice cream and sniffing children. I wish you were lying. Uh, I wish you were exaggerating, but you're not. Uh, Corey Mills, uh, thanks so much. Appreciate it.